Well, I think what we're, what we're seeing is there's going to be a constant need for capital. And it's going to require a lot of players. And that includes banks, it includes private credit, uh, and it includes, you know, others as, as the economy continues to grow. And you have to be flexible and you have to be dynamic. And I think that's one of the, the aspects of private credit um, that people don't quite understand. It's long-term capital. So it's not like traditional depositor capital that you have at the bank. The pension funds tie up this money for 10 years, so it's not going anywhere. So we can be more flexible um, with, with, you know, if the times change, you go into COVID, we can, re, you know, readjust the terms of the loan and, and move forward with that. But I think the other thing that um, a lot of people don't understand about both private equity and private credit is you get to partner with experts in industry, and they work hand in hand with Chase and Spencer and the team at Otter Learning to figure out how do they deal with certain complexities in the marketplace. Um, they're looking around the corner, they're looking at five years down the road, and they will bring in experts to help them adjust to whatever challenges they have. And I think that's the mission is, you know, we're bringing people up to Washington like Chase and others to explain how private credit and how how the impact of private capital is in the marketplace and how beneficial it is to small businesses across America.